Hello everyone, Jules here. Today I'd like to show a tarot deck that is quite lovely and it is not very well known and is not shown very often. That is the Hughes Tarot deck. This was created by an artist called Susan Hughes in 1995 by US Games, published by US Games. Here is the box and this has the magician on the cover of the box and it has the empress on the back. It's quite a lovely deck. And what is different about this deck is it has been created by the artist using watercolour paints and collage. So you don't see many watercolour tarot decks and combined with collage. So it's, it's quite a unique deck and it is set in medieval times. So here is the Empress and the Magician. And I'm going to show you some of the cards that I particularly like. The cardstock is quite good and it's got a matte finish it's really worth getting this deck if you possibly can. You would need to get it on Amazon or something like that. But I really do think that US Games should reissue this deck because it really is quite lovely and I do think that there would be quite an interest in this deck if it was reissued. Here are the backs of the cards really like the backs of the cards. It's quite a unique design for the back. And I'm going to start with the Major Arcana. Here is the Fool card. And the thing I particularly like about this deck is I love the people and the faces of the, of the figures in the cards. It's quite unique in that way. So the Fool. The Lovers. I like this idea too because it's more of a traditional scene that's in the Marseille decks where there's a third person instead of an angel. But I really love the faces on the people in the deck. The lovers. Chariot, I like this strength card, Wheel of Fortune. I love the people, the human figures, for the circle of life. And the Wheel of Fortune card. The Hanged Man. I love the faces in the tree. Great death card.
I think this deck is not only unique, but it was first published in 1995. So I think this deck was quite ahead of its time when it was created. There is a book for this deck that was not published until 2002. And I think it was either a separate guidebook, it may have been a set, I'm not sure. But I do know the guidebook was not published until 2002 which is seven years after this book, seven years after the deck was published in 1995 by US Games. Great dead card. Temperance. I love this temperance card, it's quite different. Devil, Tower. Beautiful moon card. And the sun. I like this card too. for the Minor Arcana and I must say with the Minor Arcana I particularly like the cups suit of the deck there were so many cards in the cup suit that I wanted to show but it would, oh, it would just take too long really <laughs> but I'm going to show you some of the cards from the Minor Arcana Ace of Wands Ten of Wands, and even with the minor cards here, you can see the faces of the people. It's, it makes the deck quite engaging. Ten of Wands. Queen of Wands. Now for the cups. Ace of Cups. Three of Cups, the Cups suit in particular really reflects the feelings of the figures in the cards which is what the Cups are about. So I think this is quite a typical image of the Cups suit. Three of Cups, or typical of the feeling that is expressed in the cup suit of this deck. Three 
three of cups. And the queen of cups. Now for swords. Ace of swords. Two of swords. Queen of Swords. Now for the Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles. I love this Ten of Pentacles card. And the Queen of Pentacles. So there's some of the cards of the Hughes Tarot and I'll put the details below the video. And I particularly wanted to show this deck because it's not very well known and it's not shown very often but I really do hope that US Games does reissue this deck because it really is quite a beautiful and engaging deck. So thanks for watching, bye for now.